Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Micah and this is Make It With Micah and I focus on DIYs and decor. And if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me again. In today's video, I am going to show you how I created six Dollar Tree DIYs with a gingerbread theme to decorate this tear tray. I also grabbed several little cute items from various home decor stores and I'm going to show you how I put everything together for this cute gingerbread tear tray look. In addition to this tear tray video, I am partnering with some amazing ladies who also did tear tray videos. So be sure to check them out. I will link their videos in my description box. They will be linked to a playlist and I will also link their channels to my description box. They are amazing ladies and I know they will not disappoint. So let's jump right into these DIYs. I grabbed this wood gingerbread man from the Dollar Tree and what I'm gonna do first is to fill that little hole with some lightweight spackling which is also from the Dollar Tree. Once that hole is flat and I've given it some time to dry, I am going to paint our little gingerbread man. But before doing that, I wanted to remove these buttons because I have these cute little peppermint details that I'm going to add instead. I grabbed this classic caramel color from Apple Barrel. It's one of my favorite colors to make gingerbread items. And I'm just going to give this guy a coat of paint. Next, I grabbed these two little wood planks from the Dollar Tree. They are the perfect size in my opinion because they're not too long and I'm going to combine them using some popsicle sticks. Once everything was in place, I grabbed some gingerbread themed wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree and I covered our little makeshift sign with that wrapping paper using some Elmer's glue. I didn't want to use hot glue because I figured it'd be too thick and this wrapping paper is really thin so I decided to go with, with some Elmer's school glue. I then glued our gingerbread man on top of the wrapping paper. These were the little peppermint pieces that I was talking about earlier. These are from Hobby Lobby. They were 40% off and I thought that they would make perfect little details. I also found a smaller size of the peppermint to add to his bow tie. I also found this little pipe cleaner from the Dollar Tree. I'm sorry, the pipe cleaner is from Hobby Lobby, but I did find these little hats from the Dollar Tree and I thought that they would be cute little Santa hats, so I painted them white and red. And then I added a little wood bead for the little white part of the hat. I'm gonna show you everything at the end of this video, so stay tuned to see the final look. Next, we are gonna make a bead garland. This is my little collection of beads that I've collected along the years. And I picked sort of like the medium to large size beads for our bead garland. I also grabbed this Believe sign, or I guess it's like little word packs from the Dollar Tree. I thought it was super cute. I put these beads on a skewer, and this is sort of my method for painting my beads. What you're gonna do is take the skewer and stick it in a box. Sometimes I put them on Tupperware and it kind of makes a nice little area to paint your beads. I grabbed this chalk paint from Waverly and I went to town. Mm -hmm. 
I repeated that step with another set of beads and then I was going to paint a third set and this is the color wood I was going to use but it's so close to the natural wood color that I just left it as is. I then put the beads on some yarn and I attached the believe sign. Again, I'm going to show you everything at the end of this video. But next, we're going to make a DIY book stack. This little box is from the Dollar Tree. And I grabbed these three colors, cashew, chestnut, and crimson. And I'm just going to paint each little section of the box. Once all the sections were painted, it was time to embellish our box. I also took a pen and sort of drew in that little crack there so that it looked more like it was separated. And here is what our box ended up looking like. The little gingerbread pieces are also from Hobby Lobby. They were also 40% off. I used them in another DIY. I, I DIY'd the dollhouse and used them there and I'm just obsessed with them. These little stickers are from a sticker pack from Michaels. This is what the pack looks like. And I just thought the stickers were super cute and made the perfect little detail to this little book stack. If you haven't had a chance to check out this paper pack or sticker pack, I would definitely check them out. They have the cutest stickers inside. Again, I'm going to show you everything at the end. Next, I grab this little mason jar sign from the Dollar Tree. And I'm painting this part red with that crimson paint from Waverly. Next, I grabbed this wood gingerbread man from Michaels. He was only 99 cents, and I painted him with that classic caramel color from Apple Barrel. I then followed it up with some white puffy paint from Joann's and some black slick paint, and then some pink and red puffy paint, which I found at Walmart. Once our gingerbread was completely dry, I glued it to that mason jar and I added some cute little details with this pipe cleaner from Hobby Lobby. Here is another quick easy DIY. I grabbed this little Christmas tree box from the Dollar Tree. I again painted it with that classic caramel color and then I added some puffy paint detail and a little bit of face filler and it turned out super cute. I was going for sort of like a gingerbread cookie look and I can't wait to share it with you. And then the final little easy DIY is I took these little gingerbread wood forms from the Dollar Tree and I painted them again with that classic caramel color and they made perfect filler. And now it was time to put everything together. I just love how this sign turned out. I would love to know what you guys think. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling I decided to put these little gingerbread men in this marshmallow mug, which is from Amazon. First, I filled it up with some paper towels, and then I just set the little men inside. 
And here is our finished look. I would love to know what you guys think. As you can see, I have mixed some of our DIYs on this cheer tray with other items that I bought in stores. The sign is from Hobby Lobby, the little plush characters from at home stores, as is that little gingerbread house to the right, and the mug is from Target. The gingerbread sign is also from at home stores. Well, that is it, you guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share it with a friend. And please be sure to check out my friend's tier tray videos. As I mentioned before, the playlist will be linked in my description box. Thank you so much for watching. It means everything to me, and I will see you in the next one. We're gonna okay. dance, 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 dance